What's popular, YouTube? Another day, another demo. Today we look at Zantares, okay? Lantares, all right? Here is, it was a highly requested player. Everybody wants to know more about this Turkish all-star. What's going on with Lantares, all right? The performance has dipped, but we're still looking at a graph well above a 1.0 rating. Really, really good stats in general, but the, the stat that popped out the most is his impact rating, dude. Okay, we talked about art a lot because on the desk, this is a big talking point that art, like no one's ever seen a player who, for his stats when he was at a low, to have a low, such a low rating and such a high impact, 1.31. Well, Zintares, he's got, he's got a 1.4 rating here on this map or on this, in this, in his career. That's crazy. So what is the secret to Zintares? Well, we're going to go ahead and look at a match here between Big and OG, this one's on Inferno, where Big were able to win. And um, on the CT side, there was a, a tussle, a bit of a struggle, seven rounds here on the CT side, but an 18 kill half here for Zantaris as everybody else couldn't seem to put up the numbers he did. So let's go ahead and take a look at Lantaris and see what the deal is with him. What's, the, what's in the secret sauce for Mr. Lantaris? Here we are into the demo. Around 1024, 768 stretched. Uh, let me actually look at the, uh, quickly just take a look and maybe noticed sensitivity is two at 400. Okay, so right on that cold Zera glaive sensitivity. Just curious, wanted to see that. One of the questions for this demo, I mean, one of the things that we're gonna look at that we already know about Zintaras is just how good he is at pre-aiming. He has some of the most incredible mechanics in this game. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that he sets himself up to not have to flick quite often. Like he has such good aim all around, but because he doesn't need to, because his pre-aims are so good, he doesn't really need to fall back and adjust a lot of the times when he hits shots. So we'll see if that plays a factor here um, on this map, but he's the guy who shows up on your screen, you're dead. We're seeing some of that pre-aiming going on right now. Very scary player to run into, no doubt. A cool player to watch. So start off the round over at A. And it looks like we might have to have a rotation back towards A. We'll see. Yeah, we definitely do. And I'm going to help Zentaris run here. Wow, what a fast rotation for Zentaris. I'm going to help them get back to B. All right, they're going to go ahead and save, not give up any money, save some of their armor or nades or whatever they got from that last round. It's a pretty quiet round. Didn't see a single soul. Okay, the happy deagle position. Actually, now he's going to trade spots. Or instead, this is my position. He's going to be here. He's going to be hurt, excuse me, getting tagged by the smoke on the site, but it doesn't really tell you much, except there's at least one person here. No boost coming into play. And let's help him rotate again, okay? Shall we? A little help on the rotation here. Beautiful. Right into the... I imagine if he rotated any slower than that. It would have been way out of spot. That was simple. He actually did come with a flick up there instead of just reacting. Can't believe he's brave enough to use a gap this big. Very flicky aim on Zintaras. Oh, we can see him moving back and forth in between positions. One of those players just looks like he's playing on an iPad. Oh, that was spotted. Didn't notice it for a second. We're off into the next round. Poor guy's only got a Falmus. That running boost works because uh, the level ground, of course. Really cool and uh, effective way to peek into mid. Searson's another player that I want to do a demo on. Might honestly be the best scout player in the game, at least right now. And this demo is really, for me, going to be all about you know the mechanics. Kind of just observing, sitting in awe of the mechanics of Xantaras. It's really a combination of men. He does have fast reaction time. 
He has incredible pre-aims. He is just very good at snapping to different angles. I don't know how much time and effort he puts individually into his angle snapping, but some of the skill that he has can be gained yourself by playing pre-fire maps that you can subscribe to on the workshop. If it's not just natural to you. So he's just relying on Tizian to, die, to stay alive and then he's gonna drop the smoke and peek over the bike, but there was no chance for that. Oh, we didn't really get him, get a chance to see him play there. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Let's see if he runs into anybody. So the smoke's really, I love, you know, just sitting behind, behind the smoke on this door. It's a really great spot. It's such a nightmare to come up lane and clear all these different positions. So if you have 15 seconds on the smoke and they might do a lane hit, sitting just right by the door frame, looking into the barrels, anywhere around there, it's a position that won't often get pre-fired. Oh, what a flash. It's only in a POV demo like this, so you can really just take see how beautiful that flash was. With no x-ray off to see how important that was. Immaculate timing from OG. But we're not here to talk about OG, we're here to talk about Zentaris. You know, I definitely would like to see Zentaris playing more of a boiler position. Because he's, uh, he's the kind of player who doesn't really relax. And he could be trusted to really multi-frag from a spot like that. Where he's just so good at flipping around. Like if they lost a pit player, I'd like a player like Zentaris on lane to spot boiler, spot mid. Flip back, you know. But for now, he's kind of playing reserve, doubling up with his pip guy. Focusing forward on the halls. Let's hope he doesn't have another round where he gets caught with his nade out. Oh, are they going to retake mid off of this? Oh, that's actually such a useful Molotov. Holy. I remember that one. It's so perfect just to walk out of mid. Oh, and then of course it's going to be B, isn't it? 10 seconds left. What the hell? Make a decision. This is not going to end well for OG. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's doing just fine here. And he's here to literally sit and wait. Oh, that's just a bad round from OG. It didn't, big didn't even push. They really pushed nothing. They played passive on both sides and OG didn't execute. Self-defeat. Pre-aim angle here. Oh, jumped up on the box. That's really perfect crosshair placement. You see how wide he's holding? Doesn't even have to move his crosshair at all, really, to, to grab those duels. Oh, that's just beautiful. Yeah, we are really just here to witness. It's all about visualization um, and understanding and, and experience, right? Visualization and experience. You hold wide enough that you know you can react to it on this specific angle. You know people approach this specific way. You know usually they crouch on this particular part or they're clearing this thing when they come out into my vision. And that's what your pre-aiming is based off of. You know, just jostling between these two particular spots. Here's a bit of an off angle because they clear there. He's trying to see his player model. It's a little bit to the left of that corner. Hoping that someone who peeks it will just not notice him. Flash ends up working out quite well for both. Yeah, it's actually great. And a simple little spray transfer. Supporting grenades on B. They actually didn't throw anything. Maybe an HE. I was looking to get a smoke down. Top car. So kind of like retake grenades that are going on in here. 
He's going to shove them into some kind of executors. He, he'll hear them extinguish his Molotov. So that's at least some information to leave with his bee guys. They weren't in a position to retake, which is interesting. But yeah, now Zentaros has no nades. I love learning about everyone's different favorite off angles. They won't necessarily work for you, but it, you know, some angles are objectively, are it's impossible to be objective sometimes about what angles are good and bad. Everyone's just got their favorite fights. I think it's important to like look at other players' favorite fights, but also find your own. Oh, arch wide open. This is a not an easy rotation for Zentaris to make. He he could just die coming through this, but he might find an opportunity to push through, yeah. Not a bad spot to be in. Time is low. And always a good idea to group with your teammates in a man up advantage on the retake. Should I say a person up advantage? Hmm. They're just outside the site. His teammates got it though. Right? They got it. No, they don't got it. They don't got it at all. Okay. Attack called, and we're off into another round. We've had one very, very cool explosive round so far, but I think there's a few more to come. So when you hold uh, for this, you can see the top of their head if you're crouching. If they're far back, if they're crouching themselves, you can't see them. So sometimes Zentaurus will pop up a little bit just to see if they're there walking out and adjust slightly. And you're kind of playing with these angles. You just don't want to be too, too, too static. Sitting out on this side is nice as well. You're always kind of in an off angle. And that's the same kind of retake molly they used on mid that scared OG last time. I feel like they're using their mollies a bit preemptively, but you know, it's better, better too soon than too late. That's for sure with grenades. Someone could walk out of the smoke here in the halls. It's, oh, it's actually not that poofy. Sorry. More just on that one side. And with time taken down, yeah, OG have to make a decision. So it looks like they're correct. It is going to be a play and that's. Yeah, that's just a nice move. Not much that can be done. And I think Issa's already hurt, so he's just going to back out. Really strange T side here from OG, honestly. I think probably more, than, more confused than anything else. <clears throat> I'd love to see Zentaurus play like Quake or something. He's got really fantastic tracking. He's super fast. Okay, another A hit. And I mean, the novelty of this one way doesn't really wear off. Here again, you can see his head in the corner where Zentaurus is holding. It's just beautiful. And that's a flash for the door that lands the lane. And that's the round over and done with. They are not doing a great job of executing and dealing with him in the pit. And ever since that uh, big have started playing pit in this half, things have been going very swimmingly. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> we have to watch that back. <laughs> oh, why does it have to take so long, man? Technical difficulties here as we just rewind the demo really quick. And it skips to the next round, so I have to hit this again as soon as it starts up again. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I have a I have a fast forward key that's a bit slower, but I'm so addicted to the super fast one. Oh shit, did I miss it? Please. I'm so addicted to the super fast one. And OG were taking so long to execute. I thought the I thought the execute was coming in the last ten seconds. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna let it ride. I'm super sorry. I feel awful. And the game making me feel worse. Okay, it worked, I think. Okay. Should be well. Should be a little bit faster. Can I do that? Study in the pre aims. Retake mid nade. And it, I think he just wants to squeeze them out and obviously interrupt some of their nades, especially their flashbangs. Let's say you throw the Molotov down, the smokes come over, and they have coordinated flashes, but they can't time them now because the Molotov's down. Then there, that's the value of the Molotov. All right, so he's going to use the bike smoke one more time. And I think he saw one on lane, but it might be different on his screen. Of course, just beautiful angle snapping once again. Man, two dying up top. Actually, is this the same run from before? I think this might be. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So it's this one. I skipped back twice by accident. What a disaster. Well, I love how much action they're giving Zentaurus. Now, that's a poopy smoke. That's one that, like, a flash can come out. Player can jump out and go lane and get info on anyone shooting. They can also walk out the side of the balcony and be covered from the other side of the smoke if you see on the left. I mean, what more do you need to say about that? From the other perspective, that's like, I mean, he just peeks perfectly and like doesn't, doesn't and spend an extra second walking. W listen, wide swinging is cool on certain versus certain positions if someone's holding too tight, but if you can peek and peek exactly as far as you need to, you have a leg up on reaction time. You're not spending time walking across their screen. Oh, so I'm gonna push him forward to fight. Bit of a risk there uh, for Tizian to take. Because that's the fight that OG were looking for. Of course, the, you know, Tizian could still win there. This is dangerous. Sometimes you don't, it's hard to tell how high they'll peak. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes it's dangerous to take that fight. Don't like that one that much. This is really nice for uh, MBK to come out like that, kind of anticipating that exact setup. Yerp. Oh, finally a B retake. There's silence, but there's full nade sets. There's no way OG win this. I mean, Big would have to really throw this round full nades. And they didn't even plant yet. Another good Zentaurus flash. Ten points. Again, just perfect instant headshot. Not a. Ch you tell me, OG won that round. I'm pissed. They didn't even have to plant. All right, let's see how you do. 
See, I like the more, yeah, the angle that's like further down the stairs is a bit better, I, I, I feel like, before they're ready to hard clear you. Dangerous. I'll go farther back. Oh, he's pissed. The Molotov means expecting the fight to push out again. Let's see how he approaches it. Ah, see, see, it's a little, see what I'm saying? Let's go Zintaras. It's a bit better to be a bit down the stairs where they don't control the engagement you do. Okay, final round, maybe an A hit here. Saw one at the balcony, we saw that. Okay, deals with it. Malt Maltov wasn't spreading on him, he's kind of safe, but yeah, it looks to try to pre him mini pit off that duel of MBK Bestum. He's been pretty good this match. And that was, I like that, that was cool. That was a little different. We've been doing a lot of uh, stuff that focuses a bit more on strategy. Um, but it's cool to just pick on, pick on, like not pick on, look at somebody who's just got sick mechanics and uh, and talk about their specific value as someone who can pre-aim and has really good angle snapping and tracking. And that is that is Zentaris in a nutshell, man. He is the real deal from that perspective. You know, played pit pretty standard, not really sp special or different from any other pit player that we see, but just smart about how he pre-aimed all his angles didn't really like have huge flicks for some of his fights. And I think the best one was when he was sitting in the single box in the corner of the site and it came up to default and he like shot him down without having to move his mouse at all. Like just goes to show like he can be, he can have good mechanics, but also it's just really preparation that got him those kills um, as opposed to reactions. So that explains how his impact is so high. We saw all the rounds that came to him or rounds they won. Pretty sick player, the Centaurus guy. Who we got next? Let me know in the comments below. See you tomorrow for another Coach Low. Bow.